Hey guys, long, long, long time no see. I am back today to do a really highly requested video that a lot of you guys have been wanting to see since I think May or April or something like that. Recently, I have noticed that I've gotten quite a bit more followers on my social media and in particular, it's my Instagram and also on my YouTube. I've gotten a few more subscribers and first of all, hi guys, hope you guys are well and thank you for subscribing. I have also noticed that a lot of you have the same hair as I do or at least a similar hair or the hair that I had previously and I knew that I couldn't keep delaying this video anymore because I feel that a lot of you guys want like a lot of you guys subscribe to me because we had the same hair which is kind of cool so yeah i can't keep delaying this video because i know a lot of you guys do want to see it and some of you have been talking to me um and commenting how you want to see how i style my hair so look no further because i'm finally gonna throw it out there first off um if you guys are new you will just see how my hair is right now but my hair previously um but my hair previously was a lot longer, well not a lot, but it is longer on this side and similar to right here, it's short on this side. And I can't explain it in the best way possible, so I'm going to just insert a little clip of how my hair used to be. Okay, now that you know how my hair used to be, and some of you also have that kind of hairstyle, I didn't think it through, so... I didn't record a video for you guys and I still have that hair. So right now, even with the slightly shorter hair, I'm going to make it work. First, I'll tell you guys how my hair is, how my hair texture is. My hair is pretty thick. It holds curls really well and it's really easy to manipulate um, when it comes to like curling or like hairspraying and that kind of thing. It is naturally pretty wavy. Well, not pretty wavy, like semi-wavy, but it isn't like the best kind of waves, like the perfectly waved kind of hair. So even with that, my hair is easy to curl, like I said. And my hair is pretty voluminous on its own, just because my hair is pretty thick and I have a lot of hair. But if you guys don't have the voluminous hair um, or thick hair, what you can do is use volumizing shampoo, conditioner, um, you can use some dry shampoo, it kind of volumizes your hair. Um, if you have very flat hair, you might need to tease it, but then again, um, this hairstyle kind of varies from each person since everyone's hair texture isn't necessarily the same. So all you just have to do is maybe tease it a bit, put some hairspray and all that to kind of get it a little bit more voluminous the way you want it to. But the general idea is really easy, just how you curl it and all that. All you really need is a clip or, but I have a patch, like the hair patch to help you section your hair off. And you will also need a one inch curling iron. Mine is the Infinity Pro from Conair. Even though my hair is slightly different from before, it's still pretty easy to show you guys. I do put a uh, heat protectant on, but I don't have it with me right now. And I use the Tresemme hair protectant spray or I use the Garnier Fructis it's called the straightening mist, um, but I still use it anyway. It's a heat protectant. Moving on to the technique. I know that I have so much to say right now, but there is like specific ways to curl your hair to get the kind of curls that you want. So with your curling iron, you can either take your strand of hair and usually you hold it like this. You should take your strand of hair and then wrap it around let it on there for like a few seconds or however long your hair needs it to be and then you let it go and then the hair you can see has a really nice wave to it it's not super spirally and tight well it depends on how long you leave it on there but if you leave it on for five seconds or something like that it gets a really nice wave that's one technique that i use other way is to hold it straight up and get another strand of hair open it put it in and clip it and then you twist it and turn it back and then with that you just keep pulling it out like that and what that does is it makes a very full curl it doesn't get very tight like those pink curls that you would see it's not like that it's still going to be a wave 
but because you're also flattening the hair within the iron it makes the curls a lot more voluminous and that is how you add volume to your hair and this technique you would use it more often if you have flatter hair and you want your hair to be more bigger and like bolder you know so the way that I section off my hair is in three so the first one would be from like a little bit above your ears and for now since this hair I have like no hair over here I'm just gonna pretend I do so you would section that off and then you would curl it now my bottom section I like to put the hair inside the clamp and then twist it back just so I would have the volume on the bottom do that around your head and then you let down your next section the next section is going to be at your temples like that and you leave that hair down oh my god this looks so weird but you'll leave that down and this is the hair that you have uh, for the first section I would just twist it around the barrel and all my curls I usually hold it for five seconds um, just because my hair holds the heat really well so I don't need to leave it on that long and by the way I don't have this on because uh, I'm not gonna curl my hair it just doesn't look right with this hairstyle so you guys still get the gist of it even when I'm not truly demonstrating it um so yeah I just keep grabbing like one inch sections of hair you could have it like one and a half inch depending on how much curls you want so I keep doing that around my head and I'll still keep wrapping it and then in the back right here I would clamp it last section guys so the last section on um, the tricky part is the bangs I my bangs used to kind of swoop down a bit like that um, but now it's kind of grown out so it kind of just does that <laughs> so the front part what I would do is take it take one section and then wrap it around also and then when I let go it just has this really nice shaping kind of wave and it just looks so nice okay um, and then I would keep doing it for the second section and then the third section and then the last section from the back of my head I would normally twist it that way like where the fuller side of my head is if that makes any sense so yeah that is really pretty much it if you have I say that this hairstyle with these curls look a little bit better if you have um, a little bit more layers in your hair just so when you curl it you have a few more dimensions and if you have like shorter strands up top here and then you slightly wrap it around the barrel it gives it nice dimension when you first try it out it might not look exactly like mine um, but all you just have to do is kind of try and manipulate it and also work with it um, it might give it a few tries but then again every hair is kind of different so you just kind of have to play around with it and you'll get it it's really really simple moving on to my hairstyle now um, it's just cut a bit shorter and it's been thinned out just because I had this side shaved so technically I can have a man bun well that's what they call the guys that have the bun on their heads but it's kind of like the similar style where both sides are shaved and you have a little bun right there um yeah um this has been chopped a little bit more and it like goes up in an angle so not much different just less hair pretty much so all that I do now is straighten it <laughs> I don't really curl it just cause I haven't really tried playing around with this hairstyle as much yet. Um, I've just been kind of busy with school so I never had time to really curl my hair. And whenever I want to play around with my hair, I have to know that I have time to play around and also um, get it to look back like normal if I don't like how you know playing around with it turns out. Does that make sense? So for this hair, all I do is pretty much section the same thing but instead of three sections I would do two sections which is from my temple and then this top layer right here and all I do is just straighten um there is no specific way of how I straighten it but if you guys want me to go more in depth with it all I can say is that when I section my hair 
um, this front part, I wouldn't necessarily straighten it downwards. I like to, I like to lift that section up and straighten it, like pulling it backwards so that it doesn't get too flat because I'm so used to my hair being super, super voluminous that now that I have this whole section of hair gone, it does fall flat at times so I like to strain it backwards and that's just for this bottom section here the top section ooh, I would just straighten it downwards but for me I always wash my hair at night I never wash it in the morning just because I don't have the time for it especially if I had to like wash my hair and do all that crap like I just don't have the time so I would just straighten it down but I wouldn't necessarily um, straighten it so much like I wouldn't put so much heat on it to have it like stick straight kind of thing because when you sleep your pillow kind of pushes against it and it can make it flat I like to keep it still voluminous at night so that when I wake up it would still have some volume in it even though I rolled around in my pillow yeah after these hairstyles all I do is just kind of finish it off with some Moroccan oil just to keep my hair pretty healthy and um put back the oil in my hair that I stripped away using these hot tools. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that whoever requested this video or wanted to see this video gets an idea of how I style my hair and hopefully you guys kind of learn something or you guys have a new hairstyle kind of thing that you guys want to do from watching this video. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, let's see how this but works out my hair isn't even so technically wouldn't look right like the line here isn't all right never mind all right it's just not even though but we won't do what we can't do i actually forget how to um tie a bun now just because i haven't had hair to tie it with how does this look <laughs> what is this like no, that's not cute. Hmm. I have too many layers in my hair, I think. Hey, I'm gonna keep it. Okay, I'm gonna do some Snapchats with this. Bye! <laughs>